2024 has been a year for brand deals and a lot of interesting creators. Whether you're paying to subscribe to their service or big brand deals, the money is out there. And for many ladies, when they look at these other creators or other people, they look at themselves and say, hmm, I can get to the bag too. If she can do it, then I can do it. And so that's exactly what other ladies try to do. When they hear about a lady making $10,000 a month or a day on OnlyFans, they look at themselves and say, I'm about to get on there and clap my cheeks up and get rich. Ah. But like grandma used to say, if it was easy, everybody could do it. The real reality is that business is hard, even if you're a bona fide booty clapper. That's right, you can get your cheeks clapped and still not get no damn money. Unless you wanna get your cheeks clapped by Diddy and Dima better, better not put that picture of me holding Diddy. <laughs> hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party. That's right. But again, this is the trend. For example, there was a lady in Australia that went viral. She slept with 101 guys in 14 hours. So on Saturday, I got run through by 101 guys. Now I've had a lot of backlash so far about it. And I've seen some of the videos and I see your side. Like I am not trying to encourage all the girls to be doing that. Like if they don't want to and feel like they have to do that. Then there's the most famous case of former stripper Cardi B, who everybody's trying to be like now. But Cardi B had to basically recount where she came from in the strip club, and it was a touching moment for her. Cardi B had a hard life in the strip club. So hard, she had to pretend to have sex with guys and drug and rob them, which has been a very dark spot on her career. Then there are ladies out there who are selling their cheeks for real on these streets. And it's not easy. Y'all watch these other on here lie about the type of money they're making, lie about the lifestyle they're living. The thing is, a lot of them are living that lifestyle, but they're not telling you the bad parts. They're like, oh, nothing has ever happened to me. A trick has never done me. They're lying. Like a girl just got choked out at the Palms like last month, right? She was 35, been doing this for forever. Probably did it all the time, getting to, it's just like, all it takes is that one time. But you guys can kind of see the bruise a little bit, but the filter is kind of covering it. But yeah, like, and people are just like, how are you like fine right now? Cause it's just like, I'm used to it. And you think, I don't ever want to get used to something like that. No, you don't. So before you want to sit here and think that you want to go sell some poom poom, do you have what the f it takes? Are you a weak little bitch or do you have heart? People look at me like I'm 4'11", I have this little innocent face, but I know how to defend myself. I had to f*** that up and now he has a permanent left smile. 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 I recently came across an in-depth interview on J.R. Wisdom's YouTube channel and he was interviewing this particular young lady who was a former Atlanta stripper. And it's called, Atlanta strippers really don't make a lot of money, they're broke. Now this is a lady that moved from another state with her mom to Atlanta. Um, and at first she was looking at the prospect because you know, if other women could do it, she could do it. But what she didn't understand was this. If yeah. you get into a fight or an altercation, or like let's say even, so like, well, I don't know if you do know, the women pay to come to work. For sure. So yes. pay what's called bar fee to right. work. But let's say the club has rules like we want you to work at least one slow night a week and yeah. don't work it. They can fine you for not working that slow night. Oh. And if you don't want to pay the fine, well, then you can't come back to work till you pay it. Mm. Things like that. Or like we have to tip out the DJs. Right. And you're expected to tip where I was at. $20 was the minimum or 10% of what you've made. But 20 is the absolute minimum. And people think that they don't track what you're making. But they can. Because, like, let's say you come in and get a thousand ones, and I've been dancing for you all night. 
I can't come to the DJ and give him a $20 bill. Security has written down that they saw me dancing for a guy who got a thousand ones who didn't tip the stage. So I can't try to be slick and lowball him. You see what I'm saying? So even if you tip too little, they can suspend you or fine you for that too. Two, two, two. You see, not only are there slow days in the week, there are a lot of fines associated with working in strip clubs. These are things that I did not know. And hey, if you don't show up to work, even though you're on boss, you still have to follow rules. It, we're gonna talk about that a little bit more, but let's check out the other things she's talking about. And where you're at now as an entrepreneur, self-employed, who basically this is a one chapter of your journey. Mm -hmm. What are you fighting over? Like what, like what are the fights about? Yeah. Um, it's usually money. Pretty much, or it'll be something like, again, let's say you're coming in and you're kind of dating or messing with one of the dancers, right. but you ask me to come over there and dance. She's going to feel some type of way because now it's like, that's my customer and you don't have no business dancing for him. And then it's a whole issue. And mm. that's nine times out of 10 what it was. And my mentality was always, I hate to say this, but you're damned if you do and damned if you don't with the customers. Right. If you sleep with them, they're going to stop dancing. Yep. You. And if you don't sleep with them, they're going to stop dancing you. So you might as well just keep your body to yourself. Right. Honestly. And keep your dignity. But a lot of girls, unfortunately, don't. Whether they're genuinely interested in the person right. or they're doing extra stuff for money on the side, whatever it is. So, yeah, it would lead to a lot of problems. And then I didn't drink at work. That's the other thing. I didn't drink at work. I'm not into drugs. Mm -hmm. So being in an environment like that sober is hard. Now, I've heard this too. A lot of women be fighting in the club, right? That's also a reason to get fired or to get fined. You're dealing with people talking about, oh, you stole my customers and all sorts of things. Seems really petty, but hey, this goes on. But this next part was the most shocking. I don't think it's all that it's cracked up to be. Mm. Plus, I don't think people realize all the money that goes into working. Like you could pay two hundred dollars up front to work. You might have to tip out the DJ two, three, four hundred dollars. You're tipping out your house mom. You're tipping out security. You're tipping valet. Like it's a lot of. And then don't be a dancer that drinks, which most do. Wow. Now you have tabs at the end of the night every night. It's a big overhead. Got gotcha. you. You know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta pay to work. That's crazy, right? Like you gotta tip out so many different people. And again, like she said, there are some strippers who, um, you know, they drink alcohol. Some ladies get on drugs. And there's a really big business component to a lot of this that a lot of the ladies don't realize, you know? I mean, you talk about dudes potentially stalking you, potentially doing bodily harm to you. That doesn't seem like it's something that you would really want to get involved in. And I know that I don't want to get involved with Stop the Show because I mean, I'm not going to be up there. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm lying. I would like to see some of those cheeks be bouncing. But the clap is out. But this is also the case for the OnlyFans models. You know, even though they're working for themselves, the business is tough. It's hard. You know, whatever you do in life is hard. Nothing comes easy. And a lot of ladies are finding that out for themselves. So many women, you know, they think that things are going to be easy. They're going to live the high life. And yeah, they might be showing money, but they damn sure ain't telling you what they're going through to get that money. And they damn sure ain't talking about the bad situations going on with that money. It's like everything has its pros and its cons, but bouncing your cheeks from random dudes is probably not the way to go. You know, even so many OnlyFans models that make ton of money, hold on, that have made a ton of money, you honestly see them sometimes quitting the business. You know, that's interesting. But I'ma just say this, if they wanna continue to go out there and booty clap it up, and think that that's gonna take them to their wealth. Think about this, look at Cardi B. I mean, she has money now, she has fame. She also has three kids by Offset, a guy she's not with, and a guy that cheated on her the whole entire time. You can look at Nicki Minaj. Now, Nicki Minaj is not an OnlyFans model, but she wants to look like one. Wanna know where that got her? Kenneth Petty, a guy who's a convicted felon, and you already know for what. The reality is for somebody like Nicki Minaj, she worked so hard to get to where she's at just for her to get a guy like that. In other words, she could have stayed broke and dusty and, got, and gotten a guy like Kenneth Petty. What was the use? Like everything in your life should improve, but when you go this route, clearly it doesn't help your dating prospects. Clearly it doesn't help your peace of mind. And clearly it's a bad way to go. 
Not hating on the SEX workers and all that stuff, but hey, it seems like the cons <laughs> really outweigh the pros. But guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. We're out.